Here's a story of a lovely lure that was designed to swim and be animated. Well, you might not like my singing, but that's life. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Steve Chapman of Fishing Florida Radio. And today we're taking a closer look at the animated lure. The animated lure mini. Is it a gimmick? Does it work? Let me preface by saying that there probably is many times where this lure could work. Anyway, roll the clips on all those great photos I took inside my photo studio of the animated lure, Red Tail Chub. <laughs> ago, my good friend, great chef, the king of Lake Conway sent me a, a tagged me in a Facebook post saying, hey Steve, you should really do a, a review on this lure. I thought, well, if I get the chance to get one and purchase one, I will. ICAST came along and I was able to stop by the animated lure booth and just talk to them and get, I got to see the lure in action. And I was, I was really impressed. The swim of the action is is awesome and I thought to myself I could definitely if I have the bluegill I could definitely catch some fish with this you know my lake that I usually go fish is it's stocked full of bluegill so the bass in it that's their main forage so why not if I'm able to get one let's do it let's let's try this out so July 14th came around and I went on on animatedlure.com and I went and purchased a lure now they were $39.95 with tax and shipping, it came out to $49.20. That's a lot of money for a lure. It is a lot of money, but I mean, it has all this all this stuff that does, it has propeller, it has a battery that you gotta charge. I mean, but it's worth a shot. I mean, really, it's, it's worth a shot. On July 21st, I went back online to see when my bluegill that I wanted was gonna be ordered, and I noticed that it was that the bluegill was back ordered. So I sent animated lure an email and they got back to me right away and said, look, unfortunately, oh, I can tell you exactly, unfortunately, because of sales, we do not have any bluegill, but we do have a um, red tail chub, an emerald shiner or a sand shiner mini. If you wanna pick one of those three, we'll, we'll send that out immediately and we'll also send out pr some propellers for inconvenience. On July 24th, I received the lure. It came in a nice little package and I opened it up and the box that the lure had was really beat up. It almost looked like someone smashed it ahead of time. But, you know, it's the post office, it's the post service. I mean, it was sent in a, a flimsy bag and the box around it was a little cheaply made, but I mean, the lure still, still should be fine. So I took it out and started charging. And, and I, I started right off the bat, I started charging it wrong. I thought I read the directions right, uh, but I had the negative on the wrong little slip on the underside. And uh, I sent him an email and said, look, this is what, when I put it on here, the propellers, while it's charging, the propellers going. And they sent me another email fairly quickly, a couple hours later and, and said, you have it wrong. Here's what you gotta do. So all is good. Yesterday, I decided it was time to put this lure to the test. But how do you put it to the test to start off with? Well, I fill up my bathtub with about eight inches of water, maybe seven or eight inches of water, almost not totally full, but enough that I thought it would the that I could get some some good video of the lure working. Now, mind you, I should tell you that 
I had to replace the hooks on the on the lure. Uh, I got the hooks and they were just crap. They sucked. I actually could take one. This isn't it. I could take one like this and with my fingers I could bend it. This isn't one. This isn't one of them. I could bend the treble hook. And we all know <laughs> I've had problems with treble hooks in the past with uh, other lures. So when I see poorly or poor treble hooks or poor hooks, I'm going to change them out right away. It does cost you fish. So I changed the hooks on it, but I went and, uh, and mind you, I didn't even have a bobber, which is crazy to think about. I didn't have a bobber, so I went and got a bobber. I bought, got some leader, a uh, 10 pound leader, and I, I tied it up and I threw it in my bathtub. And uh, instantly, as soon as it hit the water, it takes about 12 seconds to get going. Once it started going, the lure just went straight to the top. Just didn't go, didn't swim, just went straight to the top. I, I was very confused by this. I was like, oh, this doesn't, this isn't what, what it should do. So again, I went and I emailed Animated Lure and said, just so you know, I'm having a bunch of issues with the lure. I'm gonna read you my exact email. So I changed out the hooks because I, I was able to straighten them out before the water, before the lure hit the water. Next, when I put the, the lure into the water, when the propeller started, it just went right to the top and never swam properly. So I removed the hooks and put it back into the water and it did the exact same thing. It never swims and just, and always goes to the top of the water. When I put a hook on the back, it did the same thing. I changed the propeller, it did the same thing. And without hooks, the lure never really swims or comes remotely close to what I saw at iCast. Any help would be appreciated because right now, the lure isn't gonna look good in this review and I'm trying not to bash it. Not to mention, I really would like to catch a fish and make this not a gimmick. Thanks, Steve Chapman. Well, they sent me back an email saying that they needed, a, that they, first off, I needed to give it more line. There needed to be more gap between the bobber and the, the lure. So I did that. At that point in time, I sent them a, a video, a short, like five or se 10 second video of what the lure was doing. They then sent me an email back saying that I was not telling, not really saying that I wasn't tell, telling the truth. They said, look, you got to have more than two inches of water in the bathtub for it to work. So I then refilled up my bathtub and did it again and sent them a second video of it without hooks on it, showing them how the, the lure instantly went up. They sent me an email saying, can we send, can you send a video? Because the lure doesn't turn on for 12 seconds, which it did, it did do that. And it's programmed to swim downwards. This is the key. It's programmed to swim downwards. This went on and off for probably 14 or 15 emails. Every time they asked for something, I came back with saying, hey, I have eight or 12 inches of line. How deep was the plastic boxes that I cast? Have you tried giving it more line from the bobber? Uh, the propulsion is causing it to have a pendulum effect because of the short line. Send me another video when the line is longer. So that's what I did. I kept making video after video after video. Um, even showing them, look, I put a ruler on. Here's 13 inches of, of stuff between the bobber and the lure. But this thing does not swim downwards. It doesn't swim at all. Now I should, now mind you, let me just state right now. There probably are many of these lures that work perfectly fine. Many of these lures per work perfectly fine, but the one I got didn't. In fact, it didn't swim. It never not made it to the top. 
And for a whole day yesterday, I ended up sending four videos. Now I sent two from my bathtub, then I went out and got the exact tub that they used at iCast, filled it up with more than 13 inches of water, and put the, the lure in that, which you'll see. And the whole time, they replied back fairly fast, 20, 30 minutes, 40 minutes after sending an email, they sent an email back with the stuff. But I kept asking, look, it doesn't swim downwards. It doesn't swim at all. Here's what's going on. Here's proof of what's going on. Maybe you should just suck it up and man up and man up and man up and just send me another lure. But never did that happen. Never till the end when I asked for one. The company should stand behind their product. And it's easy enough just to say, we, you want to know, occasionally, a rare phenomenon, as they said, do these things happen? Well, you want to know what? After the sixth email, just tell me we're going to send you another email, another lure. Don't keep asking me to, first off, don't te keep insinuating that I'm not telling the truth. I don't have time to go edit video to make your lure look like crap. It looks like crap. Man up. Anyway, after four videos, numerous emails, 14 or 15 emails, which they always apologized, but they kept saying, look, do you have a pond or do you have a clear, do you have a clear pond you can go test it in? Do you have access to a laptop or computer so I can go to their website and see what a real one looks like? How do you think I'm, how do you think I'm sending you a video, Ed? Hello, Biff. Anyway, they kept telling me how I was doing. It, it was my fault that their lure sucked. It's my fault that they, that their lure sucked. Yeah. The end of this, you'll see what I think about that lure. So it kept going on and on. I sent them pictures of, of rulers in the water to show how deep the water was. I gave animated lure every opportunity to, to make this right. It never swam downward. It never even swam. The, the gipper of the whole thing was, and this is what really, luckily I'm doing this the day after. I'm doing it you know, Friday morning because this was Thursday, all day Thursday. I let myself calm down because yesterday I was going to make a video, this video, it was going to be completely horrible. And again, they might have lures out there that work. Good for them. For me, it didn't. It did nothing. It was a waste of $49.20. Anyway, they, uh, I kept emailing them saying it doesn't swim, it doesn't go downwards. And they told me that what I should do is I should take off all the hooks and use the lure without hooks. I'm just making sure the bolt of lightning doesn't come and hit me. Are you freaking kidding me? How do you, why would you, why would anyone buy a fishing lure if it doesn't have hooks? So I can cast it out, watch it not swim, and then a bass come up and maybe hopefully eat it, and then I don't get to catch the fish? Obviously, the people from Animated Lure, whoever's sending these emails, knows nothing about fishing. Zero. So uh, when it was all said and done, they, uh, they asked me, would I send them back their lure to the following address? And once they received and tested that lure, they would send me a new lure of my choice. Sure. I'm going to spend more money to send you back your lure. Really? They won't be getting the lure back. Again, maybe these lures work for other people. Maybe you can doctor some photos showing you catching fish. Yeah, maybe. When someone sends 49.20, Maybe the first thing you should do, instead of sent, getting four videos from a customer showing exactly that your lure doesn't work, that you should just admit defeat 
and suck it up and, pay, and, and send a new lure. Because the lure probably only costs you five bucks. Anime lure, you guys suck. Your customer service is horrible. The lure that I used is horrible. It doesn't swim. It doesn't go downwards. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Ashamed. This industry is too small to just not, just not take one for the team. I didn't even ask for a free lure. Never once did I ask for a free lure. I asked you to replace my lure early on, and you didn't. It wasn't until the end after four videos and 14, e four, four videos and 14 emails that you now decide, you want to know it? The guy ain't full of shit. I might not be a professional fisherman by any means, but I'm going to keep it honest. And some people might not like this and they might like, not like this. And I'm sorry, but man, all you had to do was send another lure. That's all it was. Maybe you had a bad one. That's all it comes down to. We had a bad lure. It happens. I mean, how many lures, I can't tell you how many lures I've bought out of a box for eight or nine or 10 bucks and I've had to adjust them so that they swam properly. It's kind of how this works in the industry in some cases. Not everything works perfectly. But to keep telling me that I'm the person that was doing everything wrong and to change the hooks and to add the old hooks and to do this and add more leader and do that. If you have to do all that for a lure to swim, make it swim properly, is it worth buying it? Especially for $49.20. But I'm not wasting any more money to send them a lure. And that's just stupid. Anyway, you want to know it? If you want to try this out yourself, go to animatedlure.com. Good luck. Guys, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Click that notification button and send us a comment. Tell me what you think. Am I right or wrong here? I'm sure they're going to say they were right. But I have some... 14 emails that I sent and I don't even know how many emails they sent back and forth from 1140 yesterday to exactly 525 so I wasted five or six hours making videos that you get to see again subscribe do all that stuff Tell us what you think. Remember, we have free tackle to give away too. If you want one of our tackle prize packs, email us directly, info at fishingfloridaradio.com. But email us your address too. We don't sell it to anybody. We just get you on the prize pack list and you get free stuff. Or if you uh, feel like it's easier and you're on Facebook, go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash fishingflorida. Like it, send us a private message, and tell us you saw the video. We'll get you hooked up. And the lures we give away, they work. They catch fish, they have good hooks, and they swim properly. Something you should think about animated lure. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. Seriously, I do. This is Wake Up Steve. I had to give this some time. Guys, thanks for watching. Remember to take a kid fishing, get your fish on without an animated lure. And see you next time. You thought this video was over? No. No way. We have to do what, what should have been done from the get-go. Save the bobber.